If you are looking for something a little bit different to use in your journal, I think I might have something for you in this paper clip. It's kind of a combination of my jewelry days and my mixed media days. So stick with me and I'll show you how I made this copper paper clip. My name is Peg and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. Now I haven't been around for a few weeks. I've been traveling so my Sunday videos haven't been going up. So I'm hoping that you'll like this one and give me that thumbs up and comments and you know help me get back into the swing of things. I've rested some paper. You'll see the link to that rusted paper video up above. And I have four stickers that are butterfly stickers that I have laboriously pulled apart and put on this piece of rusted paper. I will punch around the outside edge of those butterflies with a circular punch. Now that I have those all done, I've pulled in some 20 gauge copper wire and I am just going to position that in a circular motion around this paint container because it's about the same size as that circular hole that I punched or the circle that I punched with that hole punch. Once I wrap that around three or four times, I'm going to pull it off and just wrap the copper around itself to hold that into the circular motion and trim off any excess that I have. Now, as you can see, I buy my copper wire in bulk from a company called Metalliferous. Um, you can go to any of these big box stores like a Michaels or a Joan Fabrics or whatever is in your country from wherever you're watching some kind of hobby store and buy any type of wire that you want to use for this. I am using 20 and 24 gauge copper wire in the paper clip that I am going to create. Keep in mind, doesn't have to be copper. You can use silver wire. You can use any type of wire that you have on hand. Now I'm just tightening that up and now I want to slip it back over that um, bottle and just make sure that I haven't destroyed any of the circular shape. So that is going to be the main area of our paper clip. I'm just going to trim that paper so that it doesn't come on the outside edge of that wire. And I think that will work nicely. And I'll do that for all four. Continue to trim. I just want to make sure that I don't have any paper coming around the outside edge. So there we go. We'll do it once again. I'm pulling in just a little bit bigger bottle because I trimmed off quite a bit. I actually, when I got all of these finished, preferred the smaller one over the larger size circle. So that's up to you, whatever size you wish to make it. Um, that made it a little too big. So I'm just going to go freehand and pull that wire back apart and freehand that wire around that circular shape. Now I'm pulling in some liver of sulfur gel. This really stinks. I'm putting it in a plastic tub and I'm going to activate it with some warm tap water. So I've run, run my tap water as warm as I can get it. You can see I've put some of the copper down inside it. Liver of sulfur will turn 
the copper and tarnish the copper or will darken the copper. And that's what I want is more of an aged copper look. And one of the things I used to do when I was making jewelry is I would use that liver of sulfur and then once my piece was completely done, I would polish that and all of the um, relief and where I had used my texture <clears throat> hammer or the different things, you would see that bright copper and the dark copper um, would also be there as well. To stop the copper from oxidizing or continuing to darken, I am going to neutralize that now with some baking soda and water, and that will stop the process. But, you know, that's a step that you really need to take if you're going to use that liver of silver. The other thing that you can do is use an egg. Just boil an egg, put it in a, a plastic bag, stick your copper inside that bag with that egg and the sulfur that that yolk creates, <clears throat> you know, slice your boiled egg in half, the sulfur that that yolk creates will oxidize that copper as well. So now we have that done and I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to start thinking about <clears throat> how I am going to attach this paper clip, this top, to the paper clip. So I have my paper clips. I stuck some of my paper clips down inside my container of rusted water. It didn't really work that well, <laughs> honestly, because these paper clips are, are not, you know, a, a metal that's going to rust, but we gave it a shot. And I do have a bunch of, of safety pins and paper clips down inside my big jug of rusted water. So now I am polishing this copper that we oxidized with the liver of sulfur with some steel wool. You'll see that I've put on gloves. The reason that I did that is I know from experience that this will turn my hands black and it will be difficult to lighten them back up again. So I have the um, circles and I have put them, you can see up top, I have put diamond glaze on one of them and that's what we're going to do is we are going to polish up that copper, lay the copper circle over my paper butterfly on rusted paper or my decal butterfly on rusted paper and I'm going to attach that copper to the paper with this diamond glaze. Now there are a number of things you can use. I happen to have the diamond glaze in stock so that's what I used. I also have UV resin that I could have used and just uh, regular resin that you have to pour and then let sit for it to harden. So any type of resin would work in this process, but the diamond glaze did work really, really well. You know, I'm showing you what I did, but I also want to give you some op options. I know that not everyone wants to go out and buy diamond glaze or resin or UV resin, but this project you need something to that effect to get this paper to attach to the copper. The liver of sulfur or oxidizing the copper, um, like I said before, a boiled egg works just as well. It takes a little bit more time, so be prepared to leave that boiled egg with that copper in that sealed bag at least 24 hours. Now I'm just peeling off the diamond glaze that leaked out to the side and you can see what I have left is a circle surrounded in copper around that paper with the butterfly decal and that is going to be the top of my paper clip. So now to attach it to a paper clip, 
And one of the things that I don't think I told you before is when I made that circular loop, I also looped in a, at the very end with the last little bit of wire, I made just a little round circular um, hook. You can see it there. And I thought that that, if I pushed my wire through that and then wrapped it around my paper clip, that that would secure it firmly in place. And, and it has. So I have that little loop on the circular piece. I stuck my wire through the center of that. And now I'm just wrapping the rest of the wire. This is 24 gauge wire around the top of that paper clip. Now, I want to also say that this particular configuration was not my idea. I saw it on a YouTube channel. I watched it. I loved it. I can't find it in my watch history. I would love to give the individual credit that inspired me to do this in my kind of own rendition. rendition rendi what is the word I'm trying to say? You know what I mean. My own way. I'm going to continue to look for it. So please check the description down below and I will link you to her channel and her video if I find it. If I don't, I'll find it sometime and I'll mention it in a subsequent video. But I thought this was a great idea and I thought the, the clips were really very clever to, to um, resin the paper with the metal surrounding it and then to attach it to a paper clip. So now the one thing that I don't like is how the back of these look. So I've pulled down my container of rusted items. I'm into rust right now and I have some rusted cotton duck and I am going to just draw a circle and cut that circle out, fray the edges of it and glue it onto the back of this paper clip. I do apologize for not posting videos. Uh, if you follow me faithfully, like many of you do, you are accustomed to me posting a video every Sunday at one o'clock. I have been traveling and I've been traveling for work, traveling personally, and it has just been a lot. I also produce six videos for the streamathon that um, are curious by MNW did and that took a little bit of a toll on me in getting my videos up every week at one because I had to produce six or I didn't have to. I volunteered to produce six and was happy to do it and pleased to do it and I hope many of you um, watched Miriam on that streamathon because I think she stayed live for a week. It was crazy but in any event um, we have the paper clips pretty much complete. I have put the copper circular piece around, attached the paper clip, and now I am just going to kind of cover the back of that. I've covered it with um, the duct, and now I want to just put just a tiny little tie of sari silk on the back to give that back more of a finished look. And I will do that to these four that I have completed. And then I'll give you just a quick little slideshow of the finished piece. And I hope that I have made the instructions for this clear enough that you can duplicate it and come up with your own version. Here is the finished clip, how it looks in the 
process of using it inside a journal, the four that I created, the back with the little bit of sari silk to finish that off. And I hope you found this valuable and useful and will give me that thumbs up. I love to have your comments and please subscribe to my channel and I shall see you soon.